still use this. I still use a sip. Uh, but, ah! Everyone, it's Ashton and welcome back to my channel starting off by saying I am a little congested my throat is really sore and my ear feels like it's gonna explode I'm definitely not as congested as I was last night and this morning so I thought I'd go ahead and film this video and get it out of the way because I really needed to film something and I feel like this coming up week I'm not gonna have a lot of homework so it'll be a great time to edit this video this was one of the easiest videos that I had in mind to film while I'm sick so I thought I'd to knock it out of the way in today's video in today's video, I'm showing in today's video, I'm showing you guys my updated skincare routine. My first skincare video that I filmed was over the summer. I think it was like my fourth or fifth video I uploaded. I still use some of the same products that I used a few months ago, but it definitely has changed quite a bit. All right, let's get straight on with the video. Oh wait, dang it! Oh my gosh! I just now realized my mom was doing laundry, and the la it just stopped. Oh my god! I just realized my mom was doing laundry, and while I was filming that whole thing, you could probably hear the laundry in the background. Oh my god. We're just gonna keep pushing. Okay. We need cables. What the frick? I have to go get another one. <laughs> I love how I'm still recording this. What the heck? This still isn't enough. Hi. Um, oh, we'll use this. Yes. Hi. Hold on, let me take this. Let me take this message. Let me get a thumbnail before I take off my makeup. Got to show the glossier. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Looks the red of it. Okay, the first step to a clear skin is taking off your makeup. So what I'm gonna do is pull my hair back. Then I'm gonna put on this towel headband. It's like a skincare headband. I don't know. I look like a baby. I found mine at Forever 21. I think this is like the cheapest place to get them. They shouldn't be expensive at all, but I don't know. Some places these days, ridiculous. I don't always use this, but I took a shower this morning and I don't want to get my hair wet again. I've been using this new product. This is the Purity Made Simple Philosophy One Step Facial Cleanser. I've been wanting to try this product for a few months now. I got the little sample of it because it is like a, it's like a cleanser base, so I didn't want it to like, Get in my eye like at it like I've tried a product like this before and it burned my skin I mainly just bought this because it melts away makeup it also deep cleans pores and eliminates makeup buildup it conditions the skin it's fragrance free and then it has like a blend of extracts I'm gonna have to take down my tower hello so I'm on my floor about to wet my face should also probably have a towel on hand. Now I'm going to take about a dime full like that because I don't have a lot of makeup on today. Rub it in and put it on my eyes. And I don't like to open my eyes until I wash this off because I don't want it to get in my eyes. It actually smells really good. It kind of smells like bug spray, but low-key kind of like the smell of bug spray. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my face feels so good. And look, <laughs> there's no makeup residue left. Ew, that was such a bad angle, I'm sorry. My skin is soft and there's no residue left. Literally wipes off in one quick second. Ah. My go-to makeup remover used to be the Garnier Minicella Water. And then when I wiped it off, I still had residue under my eyes, so I would get it and then I would splash my face and more would come down, so I'd have to get it again. This one is just so simple and easy to use. That's why it says, made simple. Wow, I love that. Okay, next, to make sure I have all the makeup off my skin, I use toner. Right now I've been using the TN Dickinson's Witch Hazel. I ran out of my Clinique one a few months ago and I just haven't gone and got another one. <coughs> <coughs> because this was just on hand and it's been doing the job. I use a cotton round to use the toner and I use the basic ones from Target. These are so soft on your skin. So one side is kind of like a rough side, like it's still soft, but I feel like this 
is like rougher and then this is the padded side and I use this one if a lot of makeup and residue comes off on this side then I obviously switch it and use this side I feel like I've said this in every YouTube video I've ever put out but I love toner so so much I use this every day even if I don't have makeup on because it gets rid of all the dirt and oil um, in your skin and I don't like to be rough with it. I just lightly go over it on my skin. I don't have to press hard or anything. Look at all of that. Wow. The residue may be from my brows, but that is just incredible. If I have a big pimple, I like to go over it like a couple of times just to like kind of depuff it and make sure I get all the oil off of it. Now we are going to be using my new facial wash. This is the Exudence, I think I'm saying that right, Oily Acne Prone Pore Clarifying Cleanser. Just going to be wetting my face again and then rubbing it all in my skin. Recently I've been using my Clarisonic. I like to go ahead and rub in my cleanser and then go in with my Clarisonic. And I don't press down hard or anything because this is already like putting vibration in my skin and the bristles are kind of rough so I don't want to tear my skin. Time to wash. I already feel so fresh and so clean but we are not done yet. I haven't done a face mask in a few days and I thought I would include it in this video. To prep my skin for a face mask I normally use a facial mist. This one is the Lush Tea Tree Water Toner. Let's give it a little shake. It smells healthy. So I start off by using that so my skin isn't dry and it doesn't get drier when I have a face mask on. Today I'm using the Draw It All Out Skin Detoxifying Peel Mask in Charcoal and Plum. With sticky like peel off face mask, I like to use my silicone applicator. This one is a little hard to distribute throughout the skin because it's a little thick. So I do a little like pat motions. Now I'm going to use a face mask that I haven't used in a while. This is the brand I Do Care and Cake My Day. This is a hydrating sparkle wash off mask. I should want focus. Oh my gosh, it smells like cake. I'm just going to apply this on my forehead. Look, it has cute little sprinkles in it. And I'm just going to apply it on my nose and my chin. I'm going to let this sit for about 15 minutes. And while I'm doing that, I like to just get on my phone. It is time to take off the face mask. I'm first going to start off with taking the peel off one off. Okay. To take off a wash off face mask, I like to take it off with just a simple rag, actually a makeup remover mag. What? This rag is actually a makeup remover rag. Like it has like stuff that like you just wet it with water and I don't know. I think it's so much easier to just take it off with a rag instead of like on your face and trying to wash it off. Mm. Yum. All right, I can officially take this off. In the last skincare video I filmed, I showed you guys this product. This is the Eminence Clear Skin Probiotic Moisturizer. At the time I had a sample of it, but a few months ago I actually went and bought the full size. Now I'm going to go in with the same brand in minutes, but this is the Clear Skin Willow Bark Booster Serum. I just take a little bit of this and I put a little drop on my forehead. At the moment, I've been putting a little bit on this cheek too because this one has been breaking out. Then after that, I go in with my jade roller. We're almost done. When I do my skincare at night, I use my acne products. Recently, I've been getting back into the old acne treatment I used to use. This is the different gel acne treatment. Before that, I've been using my Mario Badescu drying lotion, but recently it hasn't been helping my pimples. I've been using Neosporin on my acne scars, so especially right here and a little bit around here. Thought I would go ahead and show you this product because it is part of my skin. This is the Grande Lash Lash Enhancing Serum. It's this tiny little applicator. I'm gonna use this mirror. I'm gonna apply this on my lash line, the top lash line. I normally do that at night, but it's kind of in the middle of the day right now, so I'm like, it's okay. And lastly, a lip balm. My two favorites recently has been the Glossier Balm.com. I've been using it a lot more than I did. And then this Lano Lips in Banana. I don't know what I'm feeling. Ooh, okay, this one's a winner already. I'm gonna use the Banana Balm. And that is the end of my skincare routine. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you liked the products I used, I definitely would recommend you trying them out. Also, let me know down below in the comments if you have tried any of these products before and if you like them or not. Um, 
My mom said that I have to go practice driving. So I'm gonna go do that. I really don't want to. I've gotta, I've gotta, I gotta get my license, man. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I firm. <coughs> Why? All right, so the first step to taking off makeup is obviously taking off your makeup. <laughs> I use these cotton rounds to take off my... To, I use these... I use these makeup white... If a lot of stuff comes out... I got that boom boom bow. This rag is actually a makeup remover mat. I just laid my rag in my spit. Great. Look at this mess right now. Oh my god, like what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bye.